For the past three weeks, I've been attempting to make a video on the Oculus Rift. Um, I had script written, I had a bunch of little pieces done here and there, ready to go for an actual video, but I'm making this video today to basically say that as far as I'm concerned, I cannot make a video on this device. It's literally impossible for me. I know that there's a bunch of people out there that have an Oculus Rift and they're able to do really good videos with them, but for me, I get sick. And I don't just mean I get a little sick, like a little nauseous. I get really, really sick. After using the Oculus Rift the first time, for about an hour afterwards, I didn't want to look at screens. I just felt terrible and I didn't like it at all. Um, this is a very strange device because it's designed kind of poorly initially. I mean, it's it's a beta device. Like it's, it's not supposed to be the final Oculus Rift that's supposed to be out there. And the company that's making this has said that they're making another one and the next one's supposed to fix this, this nausea that I'm getting. And apparently the creator of the Oculus Rift also gets the same nausea I'm getting, which is just totally not fun. The first two weeks, I attempted to try and make a video by recording a bunch of stuff, but every time I got into just a few minutes into recording something, I felt really ill, so I had to stop. It kept preventing me from making anything, so I just had to put it aside. This week, I decided to try it again, and what I did was I read some remedies up online, and I went out and I bought a whole bunch of crystallized ginger. Now, ginger is a natural anti nauseant so you can chew on it, and it'll make you not feel sick. Now, I've used ginger in the past when I wanted to prevent myself from getting sick and not getting nauseated. Uh, in the back of a moving car, I've done it in a bunch of different ways, and it always works for me. It's, it's an actual, real working cure. But the Oculus Rift still punched through that wall and still made me sick. When I was a kid, there was this arcade game uh, that actually required you to put on a virtual helmet. I never got sick from that. I never got sick from using the Virtual Boy. I've never got sick from any kind of gaming device in my life. This is the first time that this has ever happened to me. And I thought I could beat it, but I seriously can't. So what I'm going to show you now is the footage I did record of this video. Um, you're just going to see a little bit of it, and after that, that's all there is. Um, if I get my hands on the next unit of the Oculus Rift, I may attempt to try that, but as far as I'm concerned, this one, done. Can't do it. Finished. So, here's the footage. First things first, we have to put on the Oculus Rift. Now, there are a bunch of features that this Oculus Rift has. Um, it allows you to move the screen farther away from your face, and there's these little lenses that are set up for different kinds of eyes. Now, I've already set everything up in advance because I didn't want to spend an hour doing it on camera. Now, the next part is that I need to put on my headphones so that I can actually hear everything. And there we go. It's like being in a tank where you can't see or hear anything. Uh, sensory deprivation tank, I think that's what they're called. This is really weird, I can't hear myself speak. Now a big problem with the Oculus Rift is that because you can't actually see anything, uh, it's very hard to know where your keyboard and mouse is. Now I've been playing games for years and years and years, so I know how to actually use a keyboard without looking at it. But for some people that don't know a keyboard and mouse that well, you may find yourself lost and not really being able to find out where everything is. However, for those people, I suggest you use an Xbox 360 controller because those controls are just so simple and very easy to use. In fact, any kind of controller that you are familiar with, I recommend using while using the Rift because it just works better. A fun little thing that I learned really early on when playing the Oculus Rift is that I get Rift Sickness. Now, if you don't know what Rift Sickness is, imagine you're sick in the back of a car because you're reading a book or something. It feels sort of like that. And although some people don't get sick that way, they will get sick using the Oculus Rift. Now, not everybody gets sick, but I'm one of those sufferers. So what I did was I went out and I bought crystallized ginger, or if you don't know what that is, uh, candy ginger. So you just take a bite, 
get disgusted by the taste, and then just play the game like you normally would. Ugh. Now, let's play Q, the director's cut, which has Oculus Rift support. Even without, even with the, even with ginger, this stuff is still making me super, super sick. I, I don't know what it is, but I just feel disoriented, like I'm gonna throw up constantly. I absolutely hate it. I have to turn this game off. Even though I didn't get too far in it, it's just, it's maddening. So after that event, I really couldn't play the Oculus Rift anymore. It was just beyond me. I, I get sick whenever I use it and it's just really not fun. Um, so that's where I end this video. But I wanna thank the guys from Games Exchange in Kitchener, Ontario for actually lending me this unit. Um, they really wanted to see me talk about it, make a video on it, and I wish I could have done something better for them because these guys have an amazing store and have been one of the leading influences on my purchases on video games when I was younger. And in fact, some of the videos on this channel are actually made from games that they sold me at a young age that were basically suggestions of games I should buy. So, kind of hate to end the video here, but that's kind of all I had to say. So, thanks for watching, guys, and... Maybe the next Oculus Rift won't be so bad for me.